Piero and Campier to Tottenham, which this is a random, this is a random transfer. I mean, uh, what, what, what do you feel about? I, mean, I know you don't follow Ecuador quite as closely, but I mean, when, I, you, I think, when you read I it, what do you think? Any of those pickups for Tottenham is uh, good. That's going to be a new guy who is uh, yearning to prove himself uh, in in Europe, and uh, I think that's just good for the locker room. You know, like you've got a lot of fresh blood in there. He's going to look to Conte as a god, and uh, you know he's he's got a, a pretty a pretty solid team to fit into right now. I've seen a lot of people claiming that uh, Tottenham is going to get third behind, you know, Man City and Liverpool. However you think, you know, the top two are going to end up. That's kind of a crapshoot right now. But um, yeah, I I don't know. I think that's a good mentality and a good uh, atmosphere for him to be in. At the end of the day, at the very, like, uh, uh, bare bones take, that's just good for him to be around. And I think he's got a high ceiling. So hopefully he uh, he can contribute to a fresh look Tottenham, which yeah. I think they desperately need. I feel this way about the Incampier rumors. I feel like from one perspective, being Tottenham, it would be a good move because he's a good player. He's 20 years old. Even if it doesn't work out, you can still probably sell him and break even on the transfer. And yeah. it gives you depth. From Incampier's perspective, I feel like it's a bad move because the likelihood of him starting is pretty low. You yeah. know, he's got to displace either Eric Dyer, Ben Davies. We just signed Ling Lei, or Long Lei, I think is how you say it, on loan. So, and Davinson Sanchez and Cuti Romero are the center backs, and, and Joe Roden. So we got six pretty solid options, two really, really good options, or maybe one really good option and then another good option at yeah. the center back. I don't know if this stage of his career, where he's already starting at Leverkusen, started 27 games for them, I believe, last season. I don't know if I want him to leave the Bundesliga yet. He's 20. Yeah. I, like For me, he just left, where was he? Independiente de, Va de Valle in, in Ecuador. He just left him last year to go to Leverkusen. He's played one year in Germany, and he's been good. I'm kind of like, stick around, bro. Stay for another yeah. year. Like You're already killing it. Like your your spot in Ecuador is not threatened at all. Your your value is probably gonna double if he stays at Leverkusen. Like he's twenty five mil quoted right now. I guarantee you, post World Cup and post this season, it's forty mil. Yeah. It, might, it, it might even be as high as sixty five, depending on That's how they huge. play. He's playing That's Champions huge. League football with Leverkusen. They finished third in the Bundesliga last year. Like he ain't leaving. Like what's it? What's just a scrub trash? Team, yeah. Hertha, Hertha Berlin. You know he ain't, he ain't leaving like some. Schalke, you know, a, a German team in purgatory. He's leaving the, the third best team in the in the division where he's starting. So, look, I would love romantically. I think it would be beautiful. A beautiful thing if Incampier moved to Tottenham. I mean, I would buy his jersey day one, dude. Let me tell you. I'd be the first order. I might get it custom ordered now and he hasn't even signed yet. <laughs> but when I'm thinking about my dog, when I'm thinking about him, the player, I would tell him if I was his best friend, if I was his agent, I'd be like, don't do it, dude. Stay do at Leverkusen give it, give, for give at least time. just one more year. I mean, we how many players have we seen develop in the Bundesliga? They're good at developing players. Oh, While yeah. the league might not be incredible, Pulisic, Bellingham, I mean, Holland, all these guys. Like they 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 take these guys who have potential and they turn them into freaks. Yes. And I think he can become a freak at Leverkusen. I think he should stay, personally. Yeah. Yeah, I think selfishly, I, I like Tottenham. I don't like them. You you like them a lot, and it's it's brought me to to respect them. I I don't know. It it would be great for them. He would learn a lot from these lads. But I mean, at the end of the day, you, you want him to get hands on experience. And you're right. Yeah. It's going to be tough as hell for him to break into that starting lineup. So, so yeah, yeah. I mean, you've swayed me. The guy, the guy needs needs starting time. Especially at 20 years old. He's 20, 20, bro. He signed at 19. 20. That is insane. It's that insane. is insane. For him to be competitive at that age. Bro, in he's that starting league, in the Copa America at 18. Yeah. Marking Leo Messi. Unreal. And, and hey, he got touched up that game. He, he really did. 
But Every, he's a everybody child. gets touched. He's a child. He's a child. Messi's in, I mean, arguably his international prime right now. So yes. Not yes. not just yes. Messi's international prime, Argentina's Argentina. international prime. Yeah. Right now. I mean, for 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 decades. And I thought it was really I thought it honestly, it was a lot of bullshit after the Copa America, all the slander that was coming out about Incampier, and people were like, oh, he makes mistakes and all this stuff. I'm like, the dude is 18 years old. He is marking the most talented footballers in the world. I'm sorry he got I'm sorry sorry he got dribbled by twice. Yeah. Like, what do you want him to do? He, he's he's allowed. He's allowed. He's allowed. And that's that's, that's going to make him better, you know? I, I think it did make him better. I think yeah. having, like, a pretty wishy-washy uh, Copa, and I think Ecuador overall, they fought hard, but lots of mistakes. I think yeah. it's paying dividends now, though, because it's the same damn team, but two years more experienced. Mm -hmm. And at the next Copa, that's going to serve them. It really will. Yeah, um, I completely agree. So again, if you're Ecuadorian, let us know if you think Incampier should stay put at uh, Leverkusen or if you should go to Spurs. I also saw he was rumored to go to AC Milan. I don't need to rehash it. I feel the same type of way, except um, there's less uh, self-interest because I'm not really an AC Milan fan. So I, I yeah. don't have that romantic longing for Incampier to go to Italy. I think he should stay put. Yeah.